In this session, we want to look into possible factors that can affect a particular system project. Now, there are quite a number of factors that can affect a system project. And uh, we have some common lists here, okay, over the next few slides that I will run through. Okay. First of all is the user. User can actually raise requests uh, for certain new features, certain new function, and they could be asking the IT services to, or the IT department to incorporate these new features or services into the current system that they use day to day. For instance, uh, maybe they want to have a certain search feature all right, to search for a particular student by student ID and name, or they want a particular on-screen dashboard in which they can actually sort certain column. It could be a top management directive, basically. Sometime top management will create certain uh, strategy for the organization and this strategy will actually require certain system right, to be built. Okay, just imagine that many years ago, the beginning of digital banking or online banking. All right, so the top management decided that we want to provide online banking. All right, so in that case, basically the entire system need to be built all right, for the banking industry. The existing system sometimes can run into problems, errors, all right, that you need to be fixed, or possible problem itself. Okay, like for instance, uh, many years ago we have the problem of the Y two K bug or the Millennium bug problem, right? Where uh, previously the existing system only uses two digit to represent year instead of four. All right, so there is a problem and it need to be solved. Okay, other problems could be because of numbers. All right, for instance, uh, the number, uh, the number plates of the car, all right, may have an additional letters in the futures. So I may need a system that can actually cater for this. All right. Sometimes a system project don't necessarily get its request from outside the IT department. The IT department themselves can actually create the request. And some of these requests are, for instance, the legacy system could be outdated. Certain technology will be outdated already. So that forces the ID department to decide, all right, this system is outdated, we need to replace it with something else. Right. Or it could be an end of support of a particular system. Right. So that system may need to be changed. Okay. Sometimes it's because of economy factor. Right. Because of the certain way the economy have behaved Therefore, it actually change the way business is run. All right. And because the, of this change, a new system or an existing system need to be altered. Okay. A simple example could be a change of currency okay. from whatever the currency that was previously used to become the euro dollar, for instance. Okay, so all of a sudden, I must be able to cater to the euro dollar symbol. Okay, or it could be a new particular requirement, all right, of a particular industry. Okay. There could be changes in technology. All right, there can be actually be changes in technology, uh, that forces a new system project itself. 
okay currently we see technology are always evolving every few years right? so it's not surprising to have technological change forcing the entire IT department to work on a new particular system project governments sometimes can actually create new rules and regulation like for instance taxation right so a change in the taxation for instance a, a good service tax all right uh, could actually alter your point of sale system sometimes the problems actually occurs from the software or hardware vendor themselves and this is particularly normal although we are we hope to have an open system interconnection between every brand of software and every hardware but unfortunately that is not always true and sometimes okay the IT department have to make certain changes to software particularly to integrate with certain other hardware so that could actually force right, a new system project to occur then we come to your competitor what is your competitor doing are they providing certain new features that your system do not have or, or your application does not provide that in that case because of your competitor you need to come up with something similar then we probably will have to also look at your customer because customer are where all the money actually flows into your organization right. so based on customer feedback for instance customer may dislike certain features Right, or may request certain feature and since they are customers all right they, they could be your key customer and in that case you do not want to lose them therefore you will cater a new system project to meet their demand and it can also be from the supply chain themselves and one of a very good example was quite a number of years ago many many years ago basically all right uh, in order to reduce paper right, system is linked up together using EDI electronic data interchanges between the supplier as well as a subcontractor right. and that basically reduces a lot of unnecessary wastage of paper a lot of unnecessary duplication of work but it never stopped there basically just it has changed right? we are still doing a lot of electronic data interchanges just the method has changed right probably last time we'll be using a lot of ASCII codes all right as the key exchange now we have of course we have your XML to help you okay and of course you have a lot of many ways to integrate right? servers together or applications together now what we have here is basically some of the key areas but please be reminded that this list is by no means complete okay they have a lot of other factors that can actually affect a system project